Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Everton are close to completing the loan signing of Sporting Lisbon left-back Ruben Vinagre. Uh, the 23-year-old who signed for Sporting only a few weeks ago, completed uh, a permanent move to Sporting only a few weeks ago from Wolverhampton Wanderers, um, will join the Blues on a year-long loan with an option for Everton to buy him next summer. Uh, obviously, Everton Sporting... Hell, director of football Kevin Thelwell knows all about Fanagri from his time at Wolves it took him from Monaco to Molyneux um, he's also spent time on loan at Famalicão uh, Sporting and also Olympiacos in his uh, career so far he'll essentially come in as a backup to Michalenko to offer some competition there and also to give Everton another left footed option at left back or left wing back uh, it, it obviously puts a question mark over the future of Niels and Kunku, who's come back from Belgium. Uh, he's played in a couple of the pre-season friendlies so far. He only has less than a year now on his contract at Goodison, so it'll be interesting to see whether Everton offer him a new deal or whether they look to move him on this summer. But for Nagri, will come in and uh, be an Everton, part of Everton's first team squad. It's, a, it's an interesting deal. It's not one that will excite Evertonians I don't think uh, we still have those glaring holes in the, the team let alone the squad you know central midfield is a, needs at least one new signing we need another forward player or you know whether that be another striker or another winger they're two glaring holes in that squad for me uh, that are still there so hopefully Frank Lampard and Kevin Thelwell can address them uh, as soon as possible really a season starting in 11 days we need to we need to get on with it but Vinagri will come in and will strengthen the squad that's for sure and like I said we'll provide a competition and cover for Michalenko as he starts his first full season in England so uh, yeah he looks like that'll be announced shortly I imagine but he's uh, ever ready to complete that signing uh, Everton are also very interested in signing Real Betis centre midfield player Guido Rodriguez. Uh, that is according to lots of reports from Spain today. The 20-year-old, 28-year-old uh, rather, uh, completed the most tackles in La Liga last season. Um, a fee of around 30 million plus has been quoted for the midfield player. Seems a bit high to me, 28, um, but knows his position well. Will probably. Improve, well, it would improve Evans' midfield. He can sit in front of that back four as a six and really good range of passing. Can get about the pitch as well. Uh, but, you know, 30 million. Do Everton really have that kind of money to spend? I guess it all breaks down to what Everton can, uh, can get agreed in terms of down payments and structured payments across his contract. We'll see. We'll see whether there's anything in this one at the moment. This player has been linked to Liverpool and Arsenal in the last 12 months, the Argentinian international. But uh, it's certainly an area Everton do need to strengthen. I've just said a few minutes ago, it's a huge hole in Everton's squad, that midfield. It needs, in my opinion, one if not two midfield players in this summer. But uh, we'll see whether one of them is Rodriguez at that price. Uh, Sunderland have agreed a deal with Everton to take young forward Ellis Sims on a year long loan to the stadium alight. Uh, Sims, who turned down moves to Blackpool and the return to Hearts to join uh, Alex Neal at the stadium alight. Uh, this is a strange one because all the talk had been that Sunderland were about to uh, put a bid in for Nathan Broadhead, who'd spent last season on loan at Sunderland and Averaged like one in two, I think it was, for them. He'd had a bad injury as well, but still did really well for them. All the talk was that they'd come back for him and he'd but go there. And so Ellis Sims moving there, does it throw doubt on that one? Will he come back for Broadhead anyway and take him? Uh, there have been reports from, you know, up in the northeast that Sunderland wants a two strikers. Uh, Middlesbrough have been looking at Sims and were very interested in him, but. He's agreed to join Sunderland on a year-long loan, so we'll see whether anything uh, there's any offshoots to that regarding Nathan Broadhead, um, unless somebody else comes in for Broadhead. Maybe Hearts, who've lost out on Sims, maybe they'll come in for Broadhead. And there's two two more links today to uh, players coming into Everton. One, Armando Brozier again, 
uh, Evan apparently leading the race for him. Uh, West Ham have, have bought Schumacher, so it looks like they're out of uh, the race now. But Evan apparently leading the race for Brozier on loan. Who knows? And a return for Ross Barkley is another one that's uh, doing the rounds today as well. Not sure how popular that one would be for Barkley, who left Everton four years ago. That one doing the rounds as well. That he may well return to Goodison this pre season. We'll see. Could just easy link. Could just be an easy link. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to become a premier member, the link is in the description and the QR code is on the screen now. See you later.